Welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about the torches infections. This is a very important and a very easy topic at the same time. The reason we emphasize so much on torches infections is that they're preventable most of the time, and if they're not prevented, they will cause severe malformations of the newborn. There are a group of sex infections in the word torches. So TO on torches stands for toxoplasma, which transmits via cat feces and raw meat. The mother would usually be asymptomatic, but if she would have any symptoms, it would be lymphadenopathy. And the newborn would have the classic blueberry muffin rash for torch infections, and also retinitis, and hydrocephalus, and intracranial calcifications. Next, R in torches stands for rubella, and transmits via respiratory droplets. Maternal manifestation would be rash, lymphadenopathy, and arthritis. Newborn with rubella cannot see and cannot hear, so he'd have cataracts in the eyes and deafness. He'd also have pit and ductus arteriosus in the heart and the classic blueberry muffin rash. C stands for cytomegalovirus, which is herpes number 5 and it transmits via a variety of reasons, mainly sexually and organ transplant. Maternal symptoms are mononucleosis-like symptoms, and the newborn would have the classic blueberry muffin rash, hearing loss, seizures, petechia, and periventricular calcifications. H in the word torches stands for HIV, which as you all know transmits via sexual contact and needle sticks. The maternal manifestation would depend on the stage of HIV or AIDS symptoms and the newborn would have SCID or severe combined immune deficiency and would present as recurrent infections and chronic diarrhea. H in the word torches also stands for herpes simplex virus 2 which transmits via skin contact and causes a herpetic lesion in both the mother and the newborn and in the newborn it will also cause encephalitis and perioral rash. And finally S for syphilis, which transmits sexually and causes the three stages of syphilis for the mother. I will go more into syphilis symptoms and diagnosis in another video. The newborn would have high drops fetalis, deafness, short maxilla, ragads around the mouth, and Hutchinson teeth. Just remember that congenital syphilis would have their symptoms around the orifices of the face. So for the nose there would be saddle nose and sniffling, and for the mouth there would be short, um, short maxilla and Hutchinson teeth, and in the ears there will be deafness. Alright guys, that completes the torches infections video, and before you go I want you to answer this question, what are the three torches infections that can cause the classic blueberry muffin rash?